What? Why? We've only known each other for like two days. Chill out. Babe. Babe. I hope you're not talking to me. Alright, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, by the time we're doing another episode, guys, I'm so excited to play this game. Guys, it is getting so good. Okay, Cole, look, the Coles are just, they're really there. But he said he wants to hang out with us. He wants to get to know us. Basically, he's he's falling in love with us. But I'm going to stop rambling. We're just going to get into it, see what happens, see the tea, drama, all of it. I'm excited. So let's get into it. Okay. As I walked into the first meeting of my British literature class, I saw a familiar face. Why does he look like he's like trying to flirt with her? I'm, you know what, Jasper, you might want to stay away from us. <laughs> hey, Soph. Hey, Jasper, you're Brit lit right now too? Yeah, we should sit together. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, all right, sure, if you want to. Guys, we can't be mean, but like he gives me kind of weird vibes. I don't know, but we'll say yeah, sure. Or yeah, all right. I don't, yeah, all right, okay. Yeah, all right. I scanned my new classroom. I thought about how everyone seemed to know about Cole walking me home the other night. Yeah, don't worry about that. We don't care. And how Jasper is the only person who for sure saw us together. Oh, girl, you're smart. Jasper's a snake. Uh, I knew there was something weird about him. I knew it. I wonder if he had anything to do with the rumors. Probably because he's kind of psychotic. Um, no. Perched on top of a table was Cole surrounded by a group of giggling girls. Oh, so he's in the same class with us? Great. I love how, like, when we're still in the same area, but, like, people are around, he just ignores us. That's great. It was like they couldn't talk without touching him, their hands grazing his arm or resting on his knee. Girl, we're not gonna je get jealous. No. Ew, what is this? I noticed a few of the girls glancing over at me with a less than friendly expression. No one wants to sue your man. Relax. We die. Well, we do want him. Yeah, sorry. If he doesn't want you, I don't know what to tell you. Um, okay, not the whispering. Y'all have issues. I tried not to worry about it as I looked over the reading materials. But then in my peripheral vision, I noticed that Cole stood off the table through the girls and was walking my way. Oh! So we're doing this in public? Cool. Hey doll, you're in this class too? Oh, hey, thank you for noticing me now after like, looks that way. You remember my friend Jasper from the other night? Sup, okay, not the hostility. Jasper, you need to chill out, sir. Yeah, sup, Jasper. <laughs> I'm feeling some tension right now. <laughs> Ugh, dudes. He pulled up a chair beside me, spinning it around and straddling it backwards. Okay, you're smooth, sir. Nice chatting with you last night. Mm-hmm. Yep. Cole had called me last night and we chatted easily for at least an hour. About the band, Megan, books, movies. It was nice. Yeah, you too. I forgot to ask, how'd you get my number anyway? Yeah, that's kind of creepy, but it's fine. Well, we'll let it slide this time. I haven't even gotten a chance to give it to Megan yet. Well, I may or may not be a close personal friend of the admission assistant's favorite rock star. Mm, of course. Did you sleep with her to get my number, Cole? Ew! That is disgusting. No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Sometimes the implication is enough. Right, because you're just so charming. I noticed the girls glaring at me. Oh, well, um, that's not my problem that y'all have a steak attitude. I'm getting the implication that those girls over there are ready to kill me. Looks like you better go back to your flock of sea girls now. I think your fan club is getting jealous. I think your fan club is getting jealous. I think your fan club is getting jealous. I'm just trying to learn about some British literature right now and not fight a turf war. Even when you're ice cold doll, you're funny as hell. When he thinks you're funny? <laughs> I was sort of hoping we could be Brit lip buddies. Oh my god, of course. Jasper beat it because I feel like you started the rumor and I don't like that because friends don't do that, okay? But I guess we have our own friends here who are expecting us, don't we? Um, y'all have glares. I'm pretty sure they're not your friends though, Cole. They're your fangirls and he's just a jealous... I don't know what he is, honestly. There's always next class. It's tough being adored. Maybe it's better that way. It's tough being adored, huh? It's tough being adored, isn't it? He tossed a piece of paper on the table in front of me. That's Megan's cell number. Text her. Oh, guys, he's nice. Thank you, homie. Good afternoon, class. We are going to start by reading the Canterbury Tales. It was hard to focus on the night's tale while I could feel the literal glare of hatred coming from the girls behind me. Do y'all have nothing better to do? Like, I don't know, study? Although I had set the record straight with Hallie about not sleeping with Cole, I was starting to think our friendship made them jealous in a whole other way. Yeah, but because they don't get to spend time with him like you do. Jasper, have you been talking to anyone about me and Cole? Let it go. No, I want to know, but he will probably lie about it, but I still want to ask him. What's 
what's up? Have you been telling people that Cole walked me home the other night? Um, not people. So he did. The little snake. Just my roommate. Well, word seems to be getting around and I'm not loving the fans' reaction. Good job, dumbass. Oh, so I'm sorry. That's what happens when you have a big mouth. I wasn't trying to start any rumors about you. I definitely didn't tell him that you hooked up with Cole. Right. Well, that never even happened, so thank you for your putting that out there. I just mentioned that he walked you home, and we both thought that that was really unusual of him, but you guys don't even know him, so how are you gonna make assumptions about people? This- No. Do either of you even know him? I mean, not personally. Exactly. So you guys shouldn't have an opinion on the situation. Then why are you speculating about his behavior, or mine for that matter, with someone I've never met? I don't know, harmless celebrity gossip? Um, that's not harmless when people are involved in it, hello. But I'm your friend, not a celebrity. You're definitely my friend. Yeah, so why would you do that to your friend? But you sure about that last part? Jasper gestured towards the girls surrounding Cole who surprisingly weren't paying any mind at all. He had a point, I was beginning to draw lots of attention. That does not mean we are a celebrity. That just means people are jealous and they are gonna have an opinion and they have issues. That's all it means. Listen, I'm sorry I made things rough on you. Yeah, thank you so much. It's fine, I can set the record straight myself about what did or didn't happen last night. Okay, and I I promise not to talk about you behind your back. Well, it was too late because you already have. Thank you. Jasper went back to reading and I attempted to focus as well. And when class was over, I made a run for it before anyone else could talk to me. Girl, you girls just gonna run away from her problems? Okay. So, good to see you got up for class. Oh yeah, I made it. Jenny pulled me close to her and looking around to see if anyone was listening. I heard you were with Cole last night. Not you too. <laughs> so basically all we can talk to is Megan at this point. Great. Who did you hear that from? I heard it too. Okay, Danielle, no one asked you. Guys, really? Hey, you practically ran out of class. Yeah, because everyone's annoying thanks to you, Jasper. Yeah, I was trying to avoid the big showdown with the stray groupies. That's understandable. What exactly is their problem with you anyway? Not sure if it's so much a problem as an unhealthy obsession. All over the fact that Cole and I are sort of friends, I guess. Are you really just friends though? For now, yeah, we'll see. Don't tell me you're jealous too. What is that any of your guys' business? We are just friends. Like, it's only been a day since we've known each other. For now, yeah, we'll see. Um, we'll just say we'll see. We'll see. I'll have to see how things go between us. Girl, do not be telling everyone your business. Ugh. This is, see, this is the problem. What do you mean? Jenny, I've told you this. I won't be another girl who just has meaningless sex with Spencer Cole. Oh, really? Um, hey. <laughs> Don't diss it till you try it, doll. Um. Uh, Okay, no, no, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna, no, we're not gonna do that, okay? I said what I said. Don't you have autographs to be signing or something? I'm like, forget. Don't you have autographs to be signing, like, and not people's conversations to be eavesdropping on? How about that? Don't you have autographs to be signing or something? Why do you want one? Um, definitely not. Well, I have to go to my next class. See you guys later. Bye, Cole. I settled into a seat for the first session of my next class, Persuasive Writing 101. A few moments later. Okay, so he's just in every class of mine? That's kind of weird. Is this seat taken? Yes, now go away. That depends if you're actually in this class or if you're just the school's most famous stalker. <laughs> Actually, I am in this class. You're in a freshman writing seminar? Yup. How's that possible? Well, it's pretty simple. I failed this class my freshman year. Let's just say I didn't realize my attendance counted towards my grade. Anything under 60% and it was an immediate fail. And you were under 60? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently. 55. Why? I just, I had a lot going on in freshman year. Rather not get into that right now. It's cool. One perk of freshman class though? Um, is he okay? No stray hearts. Wow, he was right. Not one groupie in sight. I was sort of dreading this class to be honest. But now that I see you're here, I'm kind of excited. Don't get too excited. I'm not a great writer. You should be. I'm an excellent writer. I'm a horrible writer. Um, but you can get excited that I'm in here, but not in, you know, I can't help you out. Sorry. Well, don't get too excited. I'm not exactly confident in my writing skills, and I'm pretty nervous about this class. Maybe we could proofread each other's essays, then help each other out? That's a great idea. I was actually pretty excited to have Cole as a study partner. It was going to be great hanging out and learning together without the hateful eyes of the stray hearts, as he called them. When I finally made it home, I was feeling good about my classes. I felt like it was definitely going to be a challenge juggling all of them, but it was nothing I couldn't handle. In fact, I think I've got even a little free time. I pulled the piece of paper Cole had given me from my pocket and decided to text Megan to see what she was up to. Hey, it's Sophie. Cole gave me your number. Oh, hey, girl. Glad to finally have your number. So what are you doing right now? Nothing. I just finished my classes for the week. Great, because I'm actually here on your dorm's building rooftop club. What? Wait, this building has a rooftop club? Okay, maybe club was a little misleading, but it's a tradition to sneak up here with kegs and speakers on Friday is when campus security are at the football game. Hold on, I'll come get you. You can see for yourself. Guys, I really like Megan. She really is the homegirl. We're gonna be best friends, guys, and sister-in-laws. Yeah, okay, maybe I'm thinking a little bit too far ahead, but, you know, we're gonna be 
Yeah, we're just gonna leave it in the air. Oh, clubbing it up. Oh my God, people are grinding on each other. <laughs> Welcome to Vista Rooftop, the best secret party venue at Western. So what do you think? This is so cool. I can't believe this was all above my head. Is this allowed? This is so cool. This is so cool. The coolest, right? Hey baby. <laughs> I just cringe every time someone says that because I just, that, no. So if you're here. Yeah, I decided I could handle the commute. Wait, that's hilarious. Wait, why did it take him so long to realize? Well, I'm glad you're here. Me too. I looked through the crowd and quickly spotted Cole, surrounded by girls, I'm guessing. I tried not to blush as he looked past the girls surrounding him and winked at me. Oh, okay. Even though it had only been a few hours since our class together, I felt my heart skip a beat when I saw him. But just then, I noticed a few familiar faces joining the party. Oh my god, basically every single girl he's hooked up with? Cool. Cool, that's great. This is gonna be exciting. <laughs> At first, I felt a little optimistic seeing them all together. How much bad blood could there be between rivals if those three are friends? But as they closed in on Cole, I began to feel less optimistic overall. Oh no, so he used to just choose his pick for the night? Like, hey, like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wanted to say hi to him, but not enough to put myself through all that. Yeah, just let him come to you. Be right back, babe. No worries. Oh guys, they're so cute. They're goals. I want a boyfriend like that. <laughs> you okay, Soph? Yeah, it's just... Yeah, she knows. It really never ends with them, does it? Apparently not. You know, Soph, I actually heard a rumor about you today. Oh no, Megan, not you too, girl. You did? What rumor? And from who? Yeah, some guy in my political class was saying, have you heard about this new stray heart who thinks she can tame Spencer Cole? Why are people putting these rumors out there? He name dropped you and everything. Are you serious? But don't worry, I set the record straight about you. Really? Of course. Nobody talks about my girl that way. She is the real one. That's what a true friend does, guys. People around here are so obsessed with Stray that they'll take any little bit of info about us and run with it. I say us because you and I are now in that realm. <laughs> Thanks. I am? Sure. You're like quickly becoming my best friend. <laughs> Thanks, Megan. I hope that's not weird. Of course it's not weird. You're becoming my best friend too. It's a little weird. You're becoming my bestie too. For lifers. <laughs> no, it's not weird. You're becoming my best friend too. I know we haven't known each other that long, but it's true. When you know, you know. Listen, Sophie, about the rumors. You can either let them define you or you can write your own story. I've seen how you and Cole vibe. He actually trusts you, which is something I've never seen with him and any other girl. Thanks, Megan. That means a lot. As Cole and I made eye contact through the crowd, he began to make his way over to me. See, girl, let him come to you. That's what you want. You want him to chase you. Speaking of the devil, I'm going to go catch up with Casey. Hey, doll, does he actually know my name or is he just going to continue to call me doll? I know it's been a weird day with all the petty gossip and rumors about you and me. So he's heard about them. Cool. I just wanted to say you're not a groupie. You're one of us. Guys, we're already welcomed. <laughs> Cole's being so sweet and loyal. Let's prove it to the world. What? Wait, we've only known each other for like two days. Chill out. Shall we? I should show the world I'm part of Cole's crew. Tell him I'm too tired. No, no. I'm spending the coin, you guys. I, I'm spending the coin. I have to buy coins though because I'm out. Let's give him something to talk about. Add a girl. Want to dance? I thought you'd never ask. And that's when the party really started. Okay, cool, guys. <laughs> Go Megan. Go KC. <laughs> Dancing the night away with my new crew was the best time I had in a long time. Uh, those girls do not look happy. Before I knew it, the Stray Hearts gave up and went home. Oh, see you later. Um, are they grinding on each other? Um, <laughs> oh, uh, wait a damn. Uh, I'm just so uncomfortable right now. But that wasn't the best part. Dancing with Cole was honestly indescribable. Yeah, I'm, I'm so uncomfortable right now seeing this. Oh my god. Um, what? The feeling of his strong hands on my waist, his hips on mine, his hot breath on the back of my neck. I'm gonna vomit. This is gross. It's gross. It's enough to make a girl weak. Drop it low. <laughs> Face him and grind some more. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, um, I'm uncomfortable in this situation. I'm definitely not gonna drop it low. Face him and grind some more. I mean, they're already grinding now, so why not face him? Um, I'm already uncomfortable. Why not? Oh my god, I can't do this. I had no idea. You were such a good dancer. Uh-huh, right. There's a lot you don't know about me. Please tell me I'll get the chance to find out if you play your cards right. Okay, that's enough dancing. I'm over this. This is a night to remember. After the DJ packed up, we weren't ready to call it a night, so Megan invited me back to her place for an after party. When I got to Megan's house, she had a table set up in the living room with a bunch of blocks built up to it in a tower. So what's happening at this after party? We're playing the best game ever, a classic, but way more fun because we add alcohol. How do you play? It's easy. You pull out a tile and you have to do whatever it says on it. I picked up a tile and noticed it had words written on it with sharpie it said down the hatch down the hatch means that you have to finish the rest of your drink before anyone else gets to it 
Casey took a big swing of his beer with one hand and pulled Megan into him with the other. They seemed absolutely perfect for each other. Like they should be in a romantic movie or something. Aw, they really are goals, guys. Eventually, Megan pulled herself from Casey's grasp and got me a beer. What are you drinking? We have beer or I think there's some juice in the fridge. I'll drink beer, juice, juice. No, we're not drinking juice. <laughs> Justin is bringing his friend Hope over to play too. The game isn't as much fun when it's all family members. Gotta skip too many tiles. No fun watching your siblings strip. Ew, no. Oh God, I hope I don't get that one. Who's ready for some drunk Jenga? Um, did she just wink at him? Okay. The first few tiles were all drinking tiles and my first beer was gone within 15 minutes. Maybe I should have eaten before I came over. Oh, girl's about to get wasted. My turn. Oh shit, oh shit. He joked as he easily took a towel from the middle of the tower and read it out loud. The next person must take their turn sitting on your lap. Oh, I hope it's his girlfriend's turn. I took a deep breath. I was that next person. Um, I don't feel comfortable sitting on Justin's lap. Justin plopped down on the chair behind me and patted his legs with his hands. Um, I don't think Cole's gonna be too happy about that. Come on over, babe. Babe? Babe? I hope you're not talking to me. Of course, the first time I met him, I have to sit on his lap and I hoped his friend wouldn't care. Oh my god. I attempted to sit down as lightly as I could, but he flung his arms around me, pulling me back into his chest. Okay, so all the brothers are just like little flirts here? Get comfortable, I won't break. Yeah, okay. I was thankful that he was more goofy than flirty. So my turn. I leaned forward to reach for the next towel and Justin's hands grasped my hips, not allowing me to lift off his lap. Um, yeah, no. I fell back against him in a fit of laughter. Um, just pull a damn tile. He's not happy at all. Okay, okay, I'm going. I leaned forward again, this time pulling a towel and the tower barely wobbled. When it came loose, I read the most promiscuous person at the table must take four drinks. I think we all know who that is. He lifted his beard to his mouth and completed the task. You can get off him now. Oh. I rolled my eyes and Justin pushed me off of his lap. The game continued and I finished another beer. I was starting to feel a little lightheaded and I rubbed my temples. I opened my eyes to find Cole pulling a towel for his turn. His speech slurred slightly as he read to switch places with the most attractive person playing the game. Okay. Damn, I really like standing here. Cole rolled his eyes and looked back and forth between Megan and Hope and I like he was thinking about it. Then Cole took a few steps and stopped in front of me looking down through his long dark lashes. Damn that smirk. Hope. Oh. <laughs> He really had the nerve to do that to us? Wow, that's actually rude. Okay, you wanna play games? Two can play at it, that's fine. Oh, actually, oh guys, I know what he did. I know what he did there. He just wanted to stand next to Sophie. Okay, or at least that's what I'm thinking, I don't know. I didn't know if I was more relieved or disappointed that he didn't choose me, but I refused to let it show until he whispered in my ear. I'd rather stand next to the hottest girl than switch places with her doll. Oh, I told you guys. I was about to get upset there for a second, but I knew what he was doing. <laughs> Cole placed his warm hand on my lower back as he whispered in my ear and my whole body tensed. The space between us stayed minimal and I could feel the warmth of his body against my back constantly. But soon, I was too drunk to care. After a few rounds, Megan became the barmaid. She had to refill everyone's drink the rest of the night. Justin had to talk in third person for the rest of the game. And then it was Cole's turn again. He carefully drew a towel from the tower. Oh yeah, this tower ain't got nothing on me. But before he read it, he set it down on the table. Excuse me, nature calls. Okay, good job. Psst. So check it out. I looked at Megan's hand, which was holding a Jenga tile that said strip written in Sharpie. What's that? I thought we might find a great moment to use this. Look at the tile he's about to read. I looked at the tile Cole had just had drawn, which said take two sips. Boring. You should totally switch these tiles. OMG, we can't do that, can we? He'll know it was me. Please, he's no detective and he's drunk. Besides, would it be the worst thing if he did? Think you had something to do with it? Don't you want to see what he looks like underneath those punk outfit of his? Trust me, we saw it the other night when he was with that girl. Yeah. I mean, obviously. Cole's gorgeous and this is my chance to kick our flirty fun vibe up a notch. I should swap the tiles and get a show, stick to the rules. <laughs> Guys, rules, rules. Rules. No, we're not sticking to the rules. Mm -mm. Let's do it. Hurry up. I think he's coming back. All right, where's that tile of mine? You left it over here, drunkie. Girl, you're good. <laughs> Is he okay? What does it say? Nothing I can't handle, doll. Oh, uh, why is everyone just sitting, like, waiting for him? That's kind of weird. Oh, uh, is anyone gonna give me some music or something? Okay, does he think this is Magic Mike or something? No. Sure. Now let's see it, Playboy. Oh, Sophie's like, I'm ready. <laughs> I thought the whole point of having friends was that we didn't have to watch our siblings strip. Yeah, um, well, here you guys are. In my mind, I'm on the beach right now. Come on, Cole, quit stalling. Yeah, take it off. Uh, <laughs> girl, what? Woo! Okay, I'm, uh... 
All right. I knew it was coming, but it couldn't have possibly prepared me. Okay, he is slight. Okay, he's stripping. Yep, he's stripping, guys. Wow. Girl, you have already seen him, like, with no shirt on. You like what you see, doll? Um, I don't know. I don't like the dancing. <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. God, we gotta get out of here before it's too late, bro. Yeah, can you guys, can I come with you guys? My eyes, bro. Ew. <gasps> Oh my god, I don't think you're ready for this journey. I don't think you're ready for this. My body's too food delicious for you. <laughs> Should I finish the show off right, doll? No, keep your underwear on. Please, please, we don't need you to strip all the way. There was only one thing you mean by that. Take it all off. No, that's enough. That is enough. We don't, no, we don't need to see that, please. I don't need to be scarred. I don't need it. No, that's enough. Well, ladies, I think I've more than fulfilled the tiles requirement. Let's get back to the game, shall we? Doll, I believe it's your turn. Justin hopes she has to sit on his lap again. Justin needs to be quiet. You wish, bro. Oh, don't mess with Cole. Looking down at the shaky, intimidating tower, I was surprised it hadn't fallen yet. Especially from Cole or Justin, who were even more drunk than me. Justin thinks she's gonna knock it over. Stop it! I carefully reached for a tile. Watch out. Oh, oh! Did she just push it? Why does she look so aggressive when she did that? Quit it! Finally, the towel came free, and I read, Do your best impression of someone at the table. I cleared my throat. I could totally do this. Especially with the liquid courage cursing through my veins. Guys, guys, who am I? I started across the room and lowered my voice. Hey, ladies, you like rock music? <laughs> okay. Look at me. I'm the hottest guy on campus. <laughs> I attempted to match his infamous smoldering sexy gaze. Then I confidently stepped in front of Megan and mustered my best manly seductive voice. Hey girl, wanna get it on? <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong, is she? Probably not. I, I stood as tall as I could tiptoes, attempting to stare hatedly down into her eyes. Megan played along, batting her eyelashes, and I grazed my finger along her jawline, tilting her chin up. Hot damn, Justin wants to see a kiss. Okay, Justin, enough. How about you, sweet cheeks? <laughs> Just start calling someone doll. There's plenty of SD to go around. Megan and I both cracked up and I stepped forward, bumping the table, and the tower came crashing down. Nice one, Sophie. Suddenly, I was in a laughing fit, having to set my drink down and find somewhere to sit down. Who am I, you guys? Everyone knew who I was, and I didn't even bother guessing, and I fell over on the couch, letting my eyes fall shut. <laughs> Girls just said, I'm going to sleep. I'm, I knocked out. The game was over for me. I let my eyes close and promptly passed out. Doll? Doll? Well, what time is it? It's uh, late. Jovi and I thought we should check on you. Oh my guys, he cares. <laughs> Here, have some of this. Oh, I've definitely had enough. Relax, champ. It's water. Oh yeah, that actually sounds great, actually. There you go. Drink up. If you want to crash, you can have my bed. Wait, his actual bed or his hookup bed? Because if it's his hookup bed, I don't want it. I instantly thought about the woman that must have been in that bed. Um, no thanks. I can only imagine how many guests those sheets have seen since their last wash. Yeah, we don't even want to think about that. Actually, I'm offering you my room, not the guest room. Wait, what? Okay, but oh Megan said that he doesn't let anyone sleep in that room. Okay. Oh wait, really? I thought nobody went in your room. There's a first time for everything, right? Okay, and I think Joby wouldn't mind the extra company. She's usually not too fond of any lady friends, but you're different. Thank you, but where will you sleep? The guest room or the floor? Unless you want company in there. Guys, they're spending the night together already? Is that what you call it? Company? When I say company, I mean company doll. You've been totally clear about your boundaries and I respect that. Besides, you're smashed. That's not how I bag chicks. Even when you're sweet, you're still a little gross. <laughs> I can't say you're wrong about that, but if you let me, I do want to stay with you and make sure you're okay. I'll even give you a t-shirt of mine to sleep in. That fresh fit you got on doesn't look very comfy. Why are you being so nice to me? I'm really ruining my rep here, but I like you. I like hanging out with you. Okay, so... His eyes sparkled, but I can hear his heart is hammering. He's nervous around me. I'd give anything for Cole's arms around me right now. Spending the night together will definitely bring us closer than ever. Tonight could be the night we finally admit how we feel about each other. Okay, I'll stay. I trust you. I'd rather take the floor. Oh, wait, how we feel about each other? They haven't even known each other for that long. How can they have feelings? Um, um okay, I'll stay. I trust you. I'd rather take the floor. Um, no. Uh, I don't really trust him, but this just makes things exciting, so I'm spending the coin. Okay, I'll stay. I trust you. Thanks again for letting me stay here. No problem. So you have everything you need? Water, aspirin on the nightstand, a bag if you need to, you know. Is this the part where he asks to crawl in here? But instead, he sprawled out on top of the comforter. I was wondering, can I play you a song I've been working on? He's gonna serenade us? Guys, I need someone who plays the guitar just so they can play for me at night and then I can fall in love with them. Oh, yeah, I love that. Okay, cool. I haven't shown it to anyone yet, but I really want your opinion. So I'm not gonna sing this because that's not gonna happen. He looks like he's about to fall asleep. If I could be who you wanted. Oh, 
guys, these lyrics are so sad. Wow, this song, it's so emotional, so vulnerable. So different from the songs I'd heard him sing before. I wonder what inspired this. I think I might know. Is that song about her or his ex-girlfriend? I don't know. So what do you think? Wow, Cole, it's so good. It gave me chills. It needs a more round. What? That is so rude. It was good. It's so good. It gave me chills. Who inspired that? I don't know. I think I dreamed it. Well, anyway, I like the vulnerability in the song. It takes courage to open up as an artist. And this song is really beautiful. Thanks, doll. That means a lot. I think I'm about ready to pass out. Okay, so I'll get going then. Or maybe I could stay and we could cuddle. Mm. Do you... Uh, mm. <laughs> Cuddling? Hmm... Oh, well, should I let Cole stay and cuddle with me tonight? Yes, no. I don't have to pay for the options, so yes, yes, no. This could go good or bad, but I'm gonna go with it's gonna be bad, but a good idea. You know what I mean? So we're gonna do that. Yes. Yeah, you can stay. Jovi's passed out. Like, she's she's asleep. <laughs> oh, okay. They're spooning. Okay. Oh, guys, they actually look cute. To be continued. <gasps> Guys, it's over. So it's just gonna end there. How are they gonna do that to me? They're gonna do me so dirty like that. Like what? But guys, that was that episode. I'm here for Cole and Sophie. What could be their ship name? Kofi? <laughs> I don't know. Soul? Soul? <laughs> I don't know if Soul has a nice ring to it. I'm, maybe Kofi? Kofi? I don't know, guys. You let me know what you guys think their ship name would be. But I think they are so cute. I, I like them. I like that. I'm just... I'm excited, but I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe down below. I love y'all. Don't forget to love yourself. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace out, scouts. Bye.